Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a story of a man who caught his wife making out with another guy. And this is what he finally did. Here's the full story with two updates. 2.5 months ago I walked into a room with my wife and another guy making out in a big way. She says that is the first incident, I have reason to believe otherwise. I can't prove she's had sex with this guy, but that is all this guy would be after. I left for a week, saw a divorce lawyer, this wasn't the first time we've had problems in that regard. First time was with another girl. I literally walked into the same situation with those two and caught her sending pictures to her old boyfriend on another occasion. We had agreed that if anything ever happened again, we were done. So I had a consultation and decided we had far too much to lose. 12-year-old daughter, 8-year-old son, just sealed the deal on our first house a month prior. Married 6 years, been together for 18 years, since high school. I decided to reconcile with her. She quickly tried to sweep it under the rug, and I kept breaking down and telling her I didn't believe the story. This would happen every two days at first, and then less often. I would go take a shower twice daily the first week, to cry about how my life felt like a complete lie. It's been a very tough mental battle, and I keep thinking I'm not helping us get better by feeling this way. Keep telling myself if I'm going to get over this and love my wife, live my life, I need to stop obsessing about this event. But then the vivid memory of him making out on top of her in my black leather recliner. Her legs locked around him. She claimed he grabbed her hair and was being violent with her. I just blew up at her again today. I feel bad. I don't know how to start getting over this. She won't seriously talk about the event anymore, I've worn it out. How do I do my part here and start getting over this? It consumes much of my daily thought. I'm worried for my mental well-being over time. Thanks for any ideas. I was having trouble moving on from the initial discovery, lack of trust, and knowledge that she wasn't being truthful about the whole thing. I'm still seething with anger, sadness, and betrayal. For warning, I apologize for completely derogatorily referring to the other man as douchebag from here on out. It's really the only way I can vent, besides this post. I am unable, unwilling to talk to family or friends about this astronomically embarrassing event. I am going to a psychologist currently, but she is in vacation for close to a month. Q what about Bob? Great movie. The worst feeling in the world is having to doubt something you thought was unquestionable. Just over three months ago I walked into a room in my house, to my wife making out heavily with douchebag. Arms and legs locked around him. Startled, he fell flat on his face, she started smiling briefly. Instantly my heart shattered. My unconditional trust instantly erased. My life was a lie. This girl doesn't love me, it was fake. 18 years and two kids. Flush, just bought our first house. Great timing. I think I'm a respectful, gentle, loyal provider and truly believe I treat her like gold. I know I'm not perfect, but I try hard. I'm easy to get along with. I can get loud I can say hurtful things. Enough about me. I left, consulted divorce lawyer. She maintained that they never had sex. She maintained douchebag turned violent and pulled her hair, started kissing her. She said that was the first time anything had happened. She said if I hadn't come in when I did she would have gotten abused. Crap. She was holding him. That douchebag had been talking to me earlier that evening because we had some people over for drinks, him being over if them, and he told me about this smoking hot chick he was effing, she was so tight. Gave me the okay sign with his hands and changed the subject. I just thought he was being a creepy dude and dismissed it at the time. She had been flirtatious with him all night long, and I noticed it right away. Things and past events just started clicking. This had been going on for a while. My 12-year-old daughter and 7-year-old son were devastated that I left. My daughter begged me and pleaded that she didn't want to have two houses like a lot of her friends. We had just purchased our first house a month prior. With lawyer's recommendation, we did up a trial reconciliation. Wife was to get help with alcohol, marriage counseling, personal counseling. None of these things have been met. She drinks just as much now and started smoking again. I've blown up on average two times per week at her since I've been back home. Because one. I did believe her story, and two, I'm mad she isn't more remorseful, loving, or willing to do what I've asked of her in the reconciliation. I can't keep blowing up on her, it's not fair to me, her or the kids. So, on the weekend I got the confession I thought I wanted. After countless fights, me hinting, not letting it go, and a bit of a lie on my part, saying I spoke to douchebag and he told me everything. She said why do you need to hear it from me then? To which I replied because I need to hear your lips tell me, not douchebag. She finally told me. She said they had sex four to five times, more I'm sure. Another bombshell dropped when she told me it would happen when I would drive her to his house and wait for her in the car. She effed this guy while I was waiting 50 feet away. 
Heart shattered even further it burned bad, but I asked for it. You might ask why I would drive her to this guy's house at all. To be brutally honest, she would buy bouquet off douchebag for us. That is why I would drive her there. I thought. I said but why of course. She said he persistently sent her sexy texts and kept at it. I replied oh, so if some creepy dude just keeps asking you to F him, you'll do it. Is that what you're saying? Just give out the most sacred thing we have together. She then said, it wasn't you, I was feeling worthless. Then she hit me with the nuke. She said I did it because of the way you are, and it'll never change. She said the first offense happened in February, and at that time, we had been really doing great with our relationship. So it didn't make sense, and she gave me no chance, no warning, before tearing my life and family to shreds. She promised it was always protected. She promised it never happened at our house, in our bed or when I was out of town. Just when I was waiting outside that mother effer's house for my wife to get effed, and then drive her home and unknowingly have sex with her hours later. F, he told me my wife was tight, right to my face and I didn't know it at the time. It was affecting our sex life terribly in April, to the point where she pushed me off her and started crying once. I had unknowingly been suffering the effects of this affair for months before I caught her. Phew that sick stomach feeling again. I got upset that she told me it was my fault it happened. Asked why she didn't tell me, or give me a chance, or just end it if she didn't want me. She started making many excuses why. Bringing up 10 year old crap. Telling me she was angry for tricking her into the confession. She told me she withheld the truth because she wasn't sure if I wanted her back or not. I did not recognize how that made sense. She told me I better get my team of lawyers on her and stormed off. I'm so mad at her and myself. I asked for the truth, and I got it. I think she's trying to make her sins okay with herself. This is not the first bout of infidelity we have had. We have been together since we were 18 years old, 18 years ago. We've been a team for half of our lives. I want to make it work. She wants to make it work. I'm having trouble not thinking about how she effed me over. It happens 5 to 10 times daily. She was and still is my first everything. Maybe I'm obsessing. Maybe I have gone crazy. Maybe I have unhealthy, unrealistic views on what marriage and intimacy should be. She says she can't handle the hot, cold I have towards her for the last few months. I need to get over this trauma so I can think straight. I want my family back, but I don't want to be a chump. I don't want to be used. I don't want to hurt like this ever again. I want to be able to go to work and concentrate on work instead of feeling sorry for myself. I want to play with my kids and do fun things instead of being a depressed crankopence. I'd like to hold my wife's hand without dirty thoughts of her effing some dude while I wait patiently for her in the car. Gotta get my mind off this. I had lied to her about talking to the OM, saying he told me everything. So she opened up and confessed to effing this other guy multiple times at his house while I waited in the car. Well, trickle truth has a way of bleeding out. She promised it was protected when she broke the news to me. So, now it was unprotected. But she didn't let him crap in her. As if that makes a difference. She was going to go get full physical, STD test. It never happened. My heart sunk last night hearing this crap. I know for a fact that we had sex many times, merely hours after they did their selfish sensual acts, and mind effing me. How disgusting is that? OM is a thug of a player, disease. May I remind you that the night I walked in on them, he told me about this smoking hot crap he was effing, she was tight, and have me the okay sign with his hand. I didn't know at the time he was talking about my beloved wife. She promised it never happened at our house or while I was out of town. Lies, effing lies, while my kids were at school also. We had marriage counseling appointments to start August 13th. She cancelled that appointment and didn't tell me until the day of. There's more. She let out indirect tidbits of info relating to people from the past. There have been many infidelities in the past that I never knew about. Things I suspected, but have her benefit of the doubt. Common theme is falling for her medication dealers. They are always such great people. She throws herself at people who mistreat and use the F out of her. Her dad was abusive to her mom. She's got major baggage. But it doesn't make me feel better. And I think she's effing dirty. Dirtier than ever. The fights have been getting worse. She says she doesn't know if I really want this. But she hasn't done anything on the list of reconciliation we made when I decided to come home a week after D-Day. She said she can't handle my hot and cold. And she keeps reminding me that I decided to try and make this work. I remind her that she brought me home on lies, and if I knew the real truth before we decided to reconcile, it never would have happened. I am getting used to this mental state. I am pretty numb over here. Not sure what I should do next. I think I know I need to leave this relationship. I'm scared. Scared crapless. We have been a team for half our lives, 18 years of adventures. I have two kids 12 and 8 years old. 
we bought our first house in April, and I put down a large sum 80,000 of savings from my parents. I feel like she almost planned this. I can't believe it. But I feel like this was premeditated. The affair was just the stolen vehicle to execute the plan. She doesn't drive, and doesn't have a high-paying job. She is a great mom. I don't want to fight over kids' custody, I want her to be okay. How will she do this without me? Everyone will think I left and deserted her. I'm so sad. I'm going to go kick rocks and feel sorry for myself now. Maybe make a doctor's appointment for an STD test for myself tomorrow. OP, I'm so sorry. You don't deserve this. No matter what you do, leave, stay, joint custody, no contact. You just need to protect yourself and have your guard up. You sound like a decent guy. Don't let her ruin you. She might not even mean to, but the end result is the same. Determine the easiest way to get a divorce. I think you should be able to recoup your own equity in the house upon selling it. Document all of her relationships with medication dealers and get evidence if possible. You need to be the primary influence on the kids. Given the chance, she will ultimately instill her twisted values into them. Be strong and look after you and the kids. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like my videos then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.